That's better. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. No, I just. What were I those had, other glasses? These the the guy the guy. These are actually my old safety glasses. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah, I wear these. Fucking... You can at least see my eyes a little bit. We're on live right now. I don't care. I am live. Okay. I'm a live monster celebrating Christmas. Marty Garmo, Merry Christmas. Thank you. What Thank is you this? very much. The future of the internet. Wow. The future of the what internet. Can that who the heck? What can yeah, that be, the... number one elf? What do you think, <laughs> number one elf? Let me get started. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. As you know, you're out there in YouTube land. This should be on many, many YouTube channels. Thank you for being here. Myself and Chris wanted to come on before Christmas and say Merry Christmas. Uh, we were talking about it earlier. He was going to do a live. I was going to do a live. And then we said, what the freak? Let's do it together. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's why we're here like we're here. And um, I want to thank all of you for being here. I'm going to turn it over to Chris to make sure my YouTube is okay. And I'll be back. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to one and to all. Uh, I want to personally reach out to every person and knock on your door and sit there and eat some coffee. I mean, drink, drink some nice warm coffee, eat some cookies, uh, have a nice glass of milk. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I want to thank you for not only being my friend, my brother, and my sisters. I love every one of you, and I wish nothing but the best for you. Not just today, but every day. Every day, as you heard earlier on Red and James Live, uh, Ash Mafar come on said every day. He lives his life like every day is Christmas. This is a prayer I've been asking my entire life, as I wish everyone was always nice like they are at Christmas time. So from me, from the Johnsons, to all of you, Merry Christmas. I love every one of you. And uh, I'm very, very excited. I'm extremely proud to be part of Unpassive. Uh, I think you guys all know that. I know that you are. And everything is just, right now, everything in my world is perfect. I know some worlds out there, especially this, this handsome guy, maybe your world isn't perfect right now. But I, Stop, I would Chris. Me, Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway, let me, let me say something I wanted to say. Uh, I started to. Um, it's been a great year. It's been a great four years for me and I'm passive next month, month after next. Shorty, turn us down. Anyway, um, I I wouldn't or wouldn't want to be any other place. Uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. If you know me, I don't have much, but I try to. T I always try to tell the truth, and I mean, wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Best journey I ever took. Uh, and I was saying on the live the other day, you know. Time and, and sometimes not easy. I think we had it made. I think Mr. Mupar and his family and the tech team, they're the ones that worked hard. All we have to do is collect a diamond. And uh, like I said on my live, you know, it takes pressure. It takes hard work. It takes dedication to make a diamond. If you want it early, it's just coal. It's just coal. That's all it is. So... Nothing easy. And I was sat with Chris the other day, and we looked at many, many businesses. I mean, many on how they started, what happened, the ones that were super successful. I don't mean just your mom and pop. Every one of them were beat down, smacked around, had to climb a dirty hill, walking through crap, uh, waist high. Everybody told them, no, you can't make it. What are you doing? You're an idiot. Blah, blah, blah. But when they came out, what did we see? We saw the light bulb. We saw the Ford that was made on a uh, assembly line for the first time ever. Does everybody know that Mr. Ford uh, went bankrupt a few times? He worked for a, another company and they let him go. No, we look at what happened at the end. And what's about to happen at the end is the same here. My opinion, there's nothing as big as what we're going to see. Forget how much I see. I'm telling you by what I do see. This is phenomenal. Like I had took the time to look at some of the products like O-Trim. O-Trim blew me away. I put it on the link. I got 25,000 hits. 
and it told me every city in the world that clicked on it. It told me what device they used. It told me what uh, browser they used. It told me what social media they came from. I'm telling you what. And then at the end of all that, all that, it's free. Are you kidding? You give away a pearl. People are going to be screaming for the diamonds, without a doubt. Anyway, and I also want to say thank everybody for coming to my living room for the last few years to listen. Well, actually, it was more a storytelling that I did, and you took it the way I did. You took it from the heart, not just here. This is okay, but this is what makes the difference that I'm passing. Anyway, that's that's all I got. Am I expected to say something or? You can't, of course, might kick you out. You know how he is. All right. So I hope you're having a great time, everyone. And I appreciate the invitation. I uh, I have to tell you something. I uh, I felt we wanted to uh, talk more. Uh, so the uh, previous event with uh, Jane and Red uh, came out short. They had to go. But I felt we could uh, just uh, take our pace here instead of uh, having limited time. So, uh, and I love uh, the other day, my son Omar was asking uh, somebody, uh, you, you could figure at the library, but he's a regular. Uh, so he's asking the young gentleman there, he's asking him. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you're having a good time and always like that. And he said, uh, you have any celebration plans or, oh, by the way, uh, what do you celebrate? For example, do you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah or uh, uh, Eid or whatever? And, and the guy smiled and like he'd never been asked from a boy like that. OK, and he said, yeah, sure, I celebrate Christmas. And he said, I wanted to tell you Merry Christmas. So. I love that. That was the most delicate way of uh, uh, having it, uh, you know, just customized. So we uh, we appreciate everyone. We accept them no matter what you celebrate. I believe it is uh, Christmas is um, is a global, universal, cultural, uh, cheer cheerful event uh, and, and occasion. Uh, no matter you know what the faith is, uh, I believe uh, we all. Appreciate. Hey, the calendar is based on Jesus' uh, uh, birthday, so let, let's accept that. And uh, we we love it. We love this time of the year. I do uh, know that uh, some uh, states here having a a brutal uh, uh, storm time. Hopefully, it's on the way out. But definitely, it was a deadly, catastrophic, uh, catastrophic um, storm. So hopefully, uh, if you are up north or uh, being affected, uh, we pray for you to get through it safely and uh, as well uh, the rest of the year. I agree with the, my uh, brother, Marty de Garmo. This was an incredible year. Uh, I mean, the whole journey is amazing. And this 2022 in particular was really uh, what uh, stood out for me. Uh, so many milestones, you know, the team that joined us, uh, the uh, achievements, uh, the confidence, the tests that we went through, all of that. Uh, I believe we're very grateful for that. So it's time to show uh, our gratitude for that. And uh, we couldn't be more, uh, I would say, grateful uh, for the effort of uh, the many uh, committed founding leaders and members uh, who worked uh, tirelessly, they see the vision, they understand uh, what it takes to build uh, such a business. One thing I was thinking about when Chris mentioned uh, how things are, you know, moving and, and so forth and the effort of so many of us, uh, what I want to mention is uh, we have obviously, I hope it's not new to you, hundreds of talents, professionals, executives, data science, doctors, MBAs, 
lawyers, uh, programmers, designers, administrative people, HR, you name it in every field. Uh, we have, you know, inventors, all different capacities and leaders, uh, and they are on our payroll and where we host them. Impressive buildings, uh, real equipped, so many devices and equipments, technology. Uh, the bill is very high. So understand this cannot be just sitting idle. If this what appears to you that, okay, just a relaxed time and all of that. Our obligation as a company to monetize and utilize all of this force and all of this budget to the extent that now, right now, somebody's working on on passive. Talk to me after two hours, I'll tell you, somebody's working on on passive on our payroll. Talk to me Sunday, talk to me Saturday, talk to me Friday, talk to me any day of the week. Any given moment, there's somebody is working on Unpassive. Unpassive is not a company or a traditional company that is just owned by traditional owner or executives and that the reward is coming back to one person. Quite the opposite. Personally, I don't need Unpassive to go where I want to go personally, whether it's financially or, in fact, it's more sacrifice than uh, income or uh, the word income is not like, I don't mean revenue, inbound, okay? The return. So understand this is a blessing to find such a new concept in this age of time exclusively for deserving people who is not their fault to be where they are at the moment uh, just because of the wrongdoing in the market or culturally just in the system in general we thought there's a better way and that's what what we did so uh, understand this is really I mean, the least it should motivate you, excite you. There's somebody that cares about you. And for your own sake, they're working tirelessly to deliver a better way to all of us and for all of us. And this is what's happening. So if it doesn't seem to you there's so much you could do or just like you're maybe not seeing uh visible action and activity it's it's really hot in the background it's it's sizzling in a good way and take advantage and recalculate and recollect your thoughts it's always good to sit back and reflect where you were and where you want to go it's, it's it's kind of inevitable i want to assure you something i'm talking to you Publicly, I forgot to tell you, my name is Ash Mafara, and I'm talking to you right now from uh, uh, the United States. And I will tell you, Unpassive is a done deal, regardless of how it seems to you or like your mindset, feeling, estimation. Despite of that, it's going to happen to our standards it's, it already happened and it's progressing but rest assured it's a done deal and it will happen to standards like you've never seen before i assure you that so don't waste your time and energy about like i don't know if it's going to happen because you could be more effective to yourself in the meantime knowing if i knew this is going to happen. If I knew it's going to happen, I am assuring you, and I'm responsible. I cannot, you know, have this company, and I'm obligated to be accurate. It is going to happen to a level that you've never seen before, where the market have never been seen. That's what we're working on. 
So take that away and, and start behaving, thinking, planning in a way. What if you are literally being given a title as a founding member, pioneer of the biggest company ever existed, existed in any sector? Are you telling me like space, technology, all of that? I do believe the impact that is just about to be shared with the world completely above any level. We're different. It's not even a fair contrast. So if, if you want to get the most out of it, cut time and start behaving and thinking, it, it's already happening. There's no way somebody can stop it, delay it, poison it. I know there is a tremendous evil effort to do so, but we know always the truth will emerge. And justice will prevail, will win. Even if it sounds like, oh, well, it's, it's challenging, it's too much, you're go going against the current, you're going against all the odds and all of that. True. But there's always a first time, and that will be disruptive. And it's no longer based on myself, personality, tenacity, or idiosity. It, it has no effect whether I'm here or not, a, or not available. On passive will be delivered in such a way that will make a difference in everybody's life that will be in it. And not in it just like somebody create an account for you, see what happens. I will tell you what, everything is possible. The way you treat it, you get out of it. Whatever you put in, you're going to get out of it. If you believe, you know what? I do believe in this. I see the difference. I see the heart of the company. And you know what? I'm going to get the most out of it. Allow yourself to take it in. That's a complete different level from somebody who's just, let's see what happens. Or when things kick off in a visible way, I will get involved or engaged. I'll start screaming, but it will be too late to get attention. The train will, will be speeding up. So I highly recommend as an advice on a Christmas Eve to everyone who is listening. What we're about to witness will be a life changing for those who will be in it, fully in it. And collectively, we're going to make an impact overall that will make this planet much better than when we came to it. If I'm not being accurate with what I'm telling you now, I could be going like, I don't know, you understand law. I cannot mislead the public. And not not to mention, let's say, you know, the ethics or morality or put that aside or principles. Okay, if you don't know me, take my word, okay, I cannot claim this on passive will be the most impact and will create the most impact on this planet. So be kind of like insane for somebody to think, oh, let's see how is the website or the account or the calculation. This is really silly, all right? We're above that. Even if it's not the best when you see it, doesn't mean that's the end. We're not looking around, we're not going away until it's perfect. And we are starting in such a, a good way. So let's think about this. What we've delivered is all free. Nobody's paying for that. So even if it's like one, let, let's give it a score. One percent, one out of a hundred. It's not perfect. It's not average. It's not poor. It's like almost nothing. One percent for free. Can anybody complain? So it is not zero. 
You cannot deny it's there. But the truth is, it's not 1% if you understand any reality. It's, it's definitely up there. Now, being on a track that it, it will only get closer, closer to that 100%. In fact, it's not an exaggeration if we surpass that level. Why? Because we will be above any company or source of value that ever existed. So it is fair to see it's above the market, it's above 100% eventually. So if you believe we're just 1%, like 99% failure, we're in good shape because we have something. And for free, you cannot complain. Now, just start building on that know when our mentality, our, our mindset, what we have in hand, the talent we have. Trust me, if I go away, you will never see me again. There are people who will hold it much better than me. I think you know a couple of names. So are we in a good hand? No, we're in perfect hands. So you can question. Analyze, agonize until the cows come home. Nothing's going to happen. But until you make a decision, I don't want anything else. I do believe in this. You can take your time or you can do it today. Let me my, make my game plan so I can ride along with, with, with this wave that is coming. It's massive. Don't take it as a negative thing, but tsunami is a good description. Imagine like a positive tsunami. If there's some like digital tsunami, Unpassive will be the one. And the internet is just the gateway to where we're going, to our destiny, our direction. So you think like, okay, we got some good applications and software, we're done, no. That's just a start. That's step one. So it's not about if we're going to make it or not. The question, are you going to make it or not? Are you going to believe or, or what? Are you going to take it serious or what? We're taking, taking it deadly serious. For whom? For you. And those who want to believe. Oh, I'm, I'm really, as a brother, trying to help you on a Christmas Eve to really take this in a different direction. This is not a business only. Though it sounds like a business, this is not just a website or an app or a platform, an application. This is much, much bigger that these are just the introductions to where we want to go. And it's not, not possible for us to show you the whole thing. It's not even realistic because first of all, mentally it would be hard for you to see the vision that is not on, on the ground, number one. No, and so much together uh, is, is also overwhelming. And add to all of that, so if we say like, this is 50 things, okay, that are coming. Everything is, is disruptive. And we show you two. We know human nature, right? You're going to be looking at the 48 that we don't have. You're not going to look at the two you have, though they're, they're good enough. So I think we're learning a little bit better. When we tell you we have these five, okay, it doesn't mean this is it. You already know. And, and there's no number that is announced, but expect nothing but compound, compound the value. Day in, day out, everything that we offer, whether it's a, uh, a digital application or, you know, solution or product, service, whatever we offer, by itself, it will get better every day for life because their people are dedicated to that and we get better you know, technology get better and other, you know, aspects as well in business. More people are going to use it and, and benefit. Now, 
the things that we don't even know, so that will even add. So just imagine this is not going anywhere, but bigger, better, stronger. We are truly unshakable. We go through much more difficult days, I would say, than typical average uh, people or companies. Why? Because we're growing so fast. We're against the odds. And there are two types of people that they, their nature or by default, they're set up with something negative, And this is what they've seen. I don't blame them. They don't know a proper way, an ethical, clean way to practice business or such a, a revolution. So this is to it's like delusional to them. I understand that. But but just don't judge. Just just stay on the side and watch. And there are different people that by nature they're evil or they're negative. All they know is misbehave and wrong dealing. And the way they tackle a new disruptive thing is from like the back door or from you know the side, or they try to piggyback on your exposure and all of that. They try to get a couple of you know peanuts or a bone, if you wish, mooch, if you wish. But we're not going to change their nature, and I'm not in the business to judge them. I'm not in the business to correct their brain. But we know the story of the eagle. You just keep soaring and flying higher, higher, higher. Organically, the owl or the crow, if you wish, that is climbing on the eagle, uh, uh, you know, wings, eventually will run out of breath, drop down. So many already did. You go another mile up or, or, or higher. They're dead. So the best way to really get the most out of it is to put everything aside and dump it and think rationally. There is an exception for every rule. I know the norm is like uh, corruption and mislead and money and greed and all. That's the norm, sadly. But there's always a new concept which ironically we know should be the norm but we're going to break that pattern and put things back on track where we should be human time for giving time for living together cherishing the values we have and and live beyond just our personal selfish needs if you know me for two days you will know that i'm not in, in it for the money not for myself, if, you're, if you know me for two days. And we will do whatever it takes to deliver this in the best possible way to humanity. And we have a beautiful, brilliant vision. Don't underestimate that. Just the least to say is genius. It's not my judgment. It's just when you review everything is uh, everything available. <laughs> uh it's devastating so there is a new hope on the horizon and uh, we are grateful for that again that we have a vision we're working on it we're not going to look around until it's done to perfection we already started we took multiple steps on the way but it's, it's beyond done deal all right and it's no longer based on my Ability, availability, or you know, tenacity, if you wish, or my uh, uh, you know, uh, tolerance. This is in the hands of many, many wonderful uh, men and women, and they will make it happen one way or another. Uh, am I saying like, oh, okay, what is that? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying there's no possible way you could stop this. Just just give up, please. All right?
just just go find something else. Uh, don't question that. Question yourself. All right. So if you think, let me let me put it in a, in a very dumb way. Okay, maybe this will uh, close the deal. All right. You could question. This is white or black. What I'm wearing now, my shirt. Okay. You could say it's purple, you could say it's pink or blue or whatever, or silver, you could. The fact is it's white. And when more and more people and evidences and sources and authorities are going to agree this is white, you're gonna look more than an idiot that you were saying, no, this is black. So don't embarrass yourself anymore. Be quiet and and understand this is a reality and it's different and it's, it's much bigger than you and your shenanigan. All right. So that's why uh, if you want to win, go with the flow, go with the right thing, go with with the winning people, whether you're a founder or a hater or whoever you are, think this is a done deal and it's here to help humanity, starting with the founding members. You get to, to, to ride with us or just, just give up. Jump. Now, there's no doubt we all agree that Chris Johnson is the most handsome founder. You can say he's ugly, but when he wins, you know, Mr. Universe, you're going to look like an idiot. So believe it now, he's the most handsome man. True or false? You say he's ugly and then he's going to win globally, be voted. I'm telling you. No, I mean it. It's not just a joke. So what else we wanted to talk about? I mean, I uh, I know it's not the usual theme. I can come here and do the the usual, but I thought we should always uh, treat on passive as a pattern breaker. We don't take orders from anyone. You got the right ones here, then. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what else you want to talk about? You tell me. Anyone is texting you, calling you. I'm here for you. I uh, I decided to spend the time with my family today. And how Beautiful. is your wonderful family doing today, Ash? How they they're doing? amazing. I was telling, um, and they're going to hear me now. Uh, I was telling um, Susie earlier. Uh, I feel that we're the family, like Susie and I, okay? Uh, and we were talking about my kids, and, and they're coming here for a visit. <laughs> so you're the family, and, and they're the visitors here. Nice. Because I spend more time for you and with you. Oh, yeah. No doubt about that. No I'm limited that. with them. We appreciate that, Ash. But I love it, I, and it's by design, and I wouldn't do anything else. You come back after 75 years, I will do the same thing. It just, this is what I was born for. Unbelievable. Wow. This yeah. is a nasty storm. Yeah, it is. Just a lot of wind in Michigan. We got some snow, but the wind is, is making it below zero temperatures right now. Now it's a whopping 12 degrees here. It was down to nine. Yeah, some places is like the, the wind is like hurricane uh, uh, force or, or. Yep, complete whiteout. You can't see two feet ahead of you. Florida's not so warm either. 45 degrees, I heard. Yeah, tomorrow will be better. 
It was, was so Peter... big. It was so big. That's what it was. Massive. Yeah, and also now there's going to be uh, in, on the west, northwest, like Seattle area, uh, it's going to have another dip. Yeah, things are upside down, so we pray for everybody. Like sometimes don't fight it, just this is a fact, it's bad. People are telling you, stay indoors and be warm. They don't got to tell me that more than once. I'm staying indoors and being warm. Yeah, exactly. Hey, listen, this, you can always take a... Uh, you know, a lot of people have Christmas celebrations with their family going on, maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, if it's that bad, you can always postpone it a day. It's not going to hurt anything. You're still going to celebrate as a yeah. family, but at least you know, no one's taking a risk to get somewhere when it's the conditions are that bad. So take your time, relax, don't drink and drive, enjoy your life. Think of Virgin Mary 2000 years ago was delivering a baby in a barn in, a barn. in, in you know a real storm yeah or snowy place it's funny you say that you think about like you know me when i get a toothache it's 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 the end of the world for me i can't imagine back then in those days there wasn't no dentist it, around to get no you drug started. yeah no. No. <laughs> it's we're a kind joke. Of sissified, you know we're sissified now yeah. Those were strong people back then, you know. You got to yeah, yeah, I heard it, I heard a it guy. Took, it, took, it took three people to be a dentist, two to hold you down, <laughs> one to hold the teeth out. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, a guy was saying like 30 years ago, most of the stuff like we didn't even have to we couldn't uh identify them. They like because we progress in medicine and and the science and science, so we understand what they are now. They existed thirty years ago or before, but we just didn't have a clue. And so sometimes it's it's better not to know mm -hmm. the pain. Yeah, I was telling Marty that this morning because you know we've been on the phone a lot lately, and uh, I said, you know, Marty, in two or three years we're going to look back at these times that we went through through. Do, doing and pass them and just think, wow, what an amazing experience. Because even though sometimes things might get a little sticky here and there, it's it's all worth it to me. I've seen nothing but smoothness and we get a bump once in a while, you know, and it's really not that big of a deal. And I'll say it again, Ash Mafar has never said, Chris, dig a hole, roof a house, lay the cement, lay the tiles, stir the cement, He's never asked me to do anything. All he's ever asked me is, Chris, share it out and relax. Let us do all the work. I still love that saying. I mean, that's impassive. So I, I appreciate you. I sweated for over 40 years of my life. I sweated. Anybody had to stay three nights in a row? Just like five times last month for at least 20 of our managers? No, we got it made. We got it made. We yeah. just reached the rewards. That's it. And I hope you understand, okay, there are people literally giving it their life. They're away from their family, from, from their country, all right, from their homes. And with that, staying day and night, week in, week out, just to deliver this. You don't have to do that. Don't you think everything is a battle in business, such a scope of... of uh, on passive, you don't have to fight any of these battles. Do you think we pay checks like they're heavy, say millions? You don't have to pick up any check. We always pick up the check. And so, I mean, not in a bad way take it really don't take it for granted like you're taking the it, it could have been much worse for for us and for you so we're thankful that we're on a mission that is worth all the sacrifices we believe in it and we're committed to delivering it at any cost whether it takes a year or 13 we do it or die And I hope you understand, it is out there. So don't think, oh, oh, you're talking about 13 years. I know some idiots will think, yeah, I, I, Ash said, 
it might take 13 years. <laughs> you could say that. You could say that, but you're going to really be a fool. Yeah, it's already out there. Bad news for you. And it's only going to get better. Worse news for you. So if you are a hater, we're going to be your ugliest nightmare. All right. Amen or you, to that. Or you go away. You only got a few haters, though. I think the world is slowly, slowly opening their eyes to him passing. Oh. We got a few. We're always going to. I mean, Jesus Christ himself had haters, right? But we're blessed to have them. Like sometimes, yeah. I mean, there's so many benefits of them. Number one is we'll identify the people in the fence with you. Oh, yeah, they believe it. Or if they, if they follow an idiot, you know their level and, and their uh, you know mindset. So that's one okay. benefit. Another benefit, sometimes it could be somewhat a decent uh, hit or uh, criticism, if you wish. And we take it, and no, no problem, we'll, we'll take it to apply, because we're genuine. We're, okay, if it's true, we'll take it. But if it's meant just to hurt, I mean, I know that's what they mean, but we still take it. You see how good we are? Okay, another, it's like, it's a good thing not to be that easy because we don't want to relax. Uh, we have to be protected and careful, so cautious. So it, in many ways, it's, it's very good. It makes us stronger, more effective, more secure. Uh, and I don't think it's realistic to grow or to create such a thing and everything is just going to be silky, rosy way. That's not going to happen. Uh, so that's normal. I mean, if it was that easy, we could have seen it on passive like, it doesn't have to be the name or the exact, but I would say the concept or the ethics or the, the business standards, we could have seen that like decades ago. But the truth is that's our opportunity where we can take in all of that uh, I would say resistance make us stronger. But again, I know that that justice and the truth will always prevail. Most definitely, it's it's uh, a lot easier to tear something down than it is to build something up. But the yep. people that build things up and uh, go against the resistance, they're the winners. I mean, they come out winning all the time and uh those believe it or not the negative people or the naysayers they actually give me strength to keep going harder and faster that's the truth yeah. for me so and it's I know part of the true. game you, you cannot yeah. avoid it yeah you're so right you know chris so easy to say i hate you yeah it's easy done but how do you feel about that it's definitely more work patience and uh diligence when you cultivate that love and build it and hold it it takes two seconds to say i hate you i divorce you i don't want to be with you you're done you're fired whatever split easy but it takes years to build such a thing some something that you know with significant value yeah, I agree with you. It takes probably years to build a tower or something when an idiot could diminish that like in a blink. Haters and negative people are in, in, in general lazy. Absolutely lazy. Because like you said, it's just point, that's no good. They don't have to have any thought into it. And some people just just thrive on that and that's just lazy absolutely lazy you know i don't care i will talk about politics about anything and i have an opinion i will tell you the truth okay i do believe that systematically most regimes and most countries are meant to be in such a way why because they're not qualified and the only the only value they have is our tolerance as societies or people we allow them, we vote for them, uh, we're scared of them, 
And that's how they stay in control. And they wouldn't come and create a system because they can't, because they're disqualified. I mean, how do you expect a, an ethical system or regulation from somebody who doesn't have it? You cannot give what you do not have. So they would have to get a corrupted setup and setting where you're a slave. You could be canceled, your merchant account, if like you're a good business, your, uh, your communication platforms, your apps, your even, I don't know, social media garbage that, that we know now, in a blink, if you have influence or you threat that corrupted force. If you don't go in line with that crooked path, everybody's going to fight you. And sadly, those who want to fight you, those who have the power. I'm not talking about the little guys, okay? Or the, you know, ill guys that, that, that you know, they're just barking. I'm talking about people with power. If you go in a direction that didn't put it for you, just to, to put your head down like an animal, forgive me for that. And don't question anything. If you try to create a value that, oh yeah, people love it, or like we'll take away their, their corrupted system, whether pharmaceutical or the energy or whatever financial trap they have for us, you're a threat. So the system in general, most likely was put should be in a way to limit your ability and your force. As a citizen of any country, I'm not talking about a specific country, okay? I'm talking about in general. Whether it's the educational system, I'm not talking about a, a, just an individual, you know, whether political figure, no, 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 no. I'm talking about in general, the educational system, 99% of it is, is garbage. The employment system, garbage. It's not set up for where the, that you can grow because that is going to create fear to them. It's created where you're a slave, you get paid for your time and, and don't grow technically. So a lot of it is negative energy. The system don't want you to grow or to, to be creative or to, yeah, it's limiting. And why, when we have great ideas, does it have to be based on uh, regulations? Or if we have something can change the world, or why does it have to be, you know, we, we, we appreciate any good law that makes sense, but there's some laws that, that are actually to limit your, your growth or uh, creativity. We have the right to question them. So somebody put a, a, a rule 300, 500 years ago. Isn't it time to update that? It was valid back then. Maybe it made sense and somebody with a limited vision. But now if we see it from a different way, as long as it's good, no harm, but good for humanity, why should that be stopped? The whole economical system is just slavery. Take it and uh, and just save your time. So when you create something like on passive, you're playing with fire. Not that it's a negative thing. You sh you know rattling that cage of 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 you know they're they're in their comfort zone. A couple hundred people on the planet. Add their billions, trillions. You know, it, it's that way, everything in the world, everything. Like, when I was growing up, you watched TV and you learned about other cultures from the news or from TV. And I thought about the evil empire and all that. And then I traveled to Russia, and it was nothing like I thought. 
beautiful people. I mean, some of the nicest people I ever met in my life. And I went, wow, I was lied to. I, growing up, I was, you have that, that built in thing. And I see it all over America now where people just, they, they get pocketed into something. But you know, all the stuff, even Edison and all them, they were treated like crap. They had to go so far past and not quit. But now he's an idol. They didn't think that then. Yeah. They didn't think that then. Think they didn't about think. This. Yeah, it was it was hard on them, very hard on them. You know what? Uh, most of the things that we follow or do or believe in, not our own decision. The media said it this way and like, okay, they just trained us. But, but did you ever investigate? Did you ever try? Like, Russia's bad. Yeah, you hear that. But Russian people or what about the culture or what about other good things they do? That's if you hear from me. But if you go and experience, I have friends who are like most ethical people, human, tender, hearted, just amazingly effective and hardworking people. So what better? And that's in everywhere. So the, the fact to label a, a, a country or a society, that's media. That's not like what you found. If you have an impression, negative impression about some, I, I did fail into that in the early, you know, years. But but when you say, wait, wait a minute, not what I was told. That's different. But But if you allow yourself just to believe and like be, forgive me as a sheep, that's it. So somebody decided everything for you and you're no one, but you're human. What do they say? A, B, C, right? So the day you're born, Or between between actually somebody said this between B and D our birth and our death that's the destiny of our life but in between there's a C which is which stands for choice most people miss that they don't have a choice they just like surrender and they just believe this is what it is and they follow somebody we don't know sometimes it's a good you know, statement or judgment, but some, most of the time is just wrong. I want to ask everybody to look at the heat that little country, Qatar, had. They bought the FIFA, they, 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 they bribed, they, they got it, they, you know, it's hot, it's too small, they don't have the infrastructure, it will be bad, it will be uh, a lot of terror will be there. It's not going to, uh, it's, it's, it's a failure. It's a disaster. Fast forward. I try to find out what happened in between. It's the most expen uh, uh, successful, the most successful tournament in the history of FIFA. The most successful. You've seen the technology. The security, safety. You've seen the hospitality. You've seen how friendly, how everybody was welcome, smooth, no traffic, nothing. They made it in, in times where it was possible. It's top notch. And I believe it's going to be hard for no matter which country after that to top that up. Had they listened and said, oh, my God, everybody's against us and all that, let's, let's give it to another country or, you know. What? It was the most successful organization ever. So don't listen to the garbage or people like they, they have that mentality. You always judge by yourself, judge by yourself. 
and and you know you could always make it better you could always even improve things um and uh you know on passive is just one um one good example that we're again against you know the the odds and yeah absolutely we're different but it doesn't mean it has to be like what was ahead of us we will have a different outcome and that's why i invite everybody to really take it serious and try to think how are you going to make the most out of it and and if you're thinking like okay money 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 now i'm i'm sorry you don't know me too okay money is one thing and i'm not telling you no forget money and like listen you have to have that uh potential and that that value as well it makes things much better easier all of that but there's so many other values not one not two many values are greater than just money it's one value it's not the only thing it's not the main thing as as important as money or your finances are but your mindset your ethics what you make out of it how could you utilize this to others advantage how could you be a good citizen that's also as valuable if money was just the key to everything then uh i think money would have no value because then you would just do anything and get money and sometimes it's worthless or meaningless uh show me the life of of many rich people and let's take a closer look are they valuable to others or just to themselves are they really happy that's a test all right so tell me one more thing chris uh i know you want to change the topic i i I like the topic because I like when you're, listen, to all the YouTube two channels that are playing right now, this is uh, not only my brother, but my friend, Ash Mafara. Um, he owns a passive. And I want to let you know, this is a real CEO. This is a man talking from his heart. He probably doesn't like when I say this, but I love doing it. He's real, folks. All you people that don't know him, I'm going to ask you through all of us to get to know him because he's what, I, what he's saying is he just wants the world to be a better place. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as it's been for the last 300 years. He's changed it up. And uh, didn't he, not didn't he just change it up. He did it. And it might seem like no way to you or backwards. It's not. It's just no one else has ever tested the waters to say, why can't we do it better? And why can't we do it different? Um, that's why I love this guy, because he has done it different. We all followed the same rules since the day we were born. Think about it. You go to school, you go to college, you get a job, you get married, you celebrate the holidays, you work 30, 40 years of your life, 40 years wasted of working for somebody else, even though you had to do it. And, he, and somehow in his mind, he said many years ago, I seen these people, they're not going anywhere. They're not taking anybody with them. I, I got to change it. He, he told a couple people. There's always a better way. You're right. Absolutely. There's always a better way. But this is what we know to our ability and we're going to go for it and we're going for it. And it's, it's seems like making sense and it's working. Uh, but it doesn't mean we don't have room to improve or to grow or change whatever it takes, but we believe in what we're doing is clean, ethical, and this it's more fair and it's more than just self-serving. Yeah, I That's think, I think I'm, I'm, I'm passive offers so much more than money because you could, you could live a life and, and, and shine in whatever you like, whatever you want to do, whatever you think about. The platform's huge enough to do that. And 
I know a lot of people sit back their whole life and they never really live. You know, I mean, I, I met old people in, in their 30s. I mean, really old. And then I met young people in their 80s. It's just how they thought about things and always doing better and always wanting more. And it can happen. It's possible. And without passive, it just made a lot more things possible for people. That's probably more what I talk about than anything is I don't care what you do. Somewhere on this platform, this planet of unpassive, you have a desire or something you really love doing and you can't wait to do it 100%. I'm passive. It's the place to do that. It has nothing to, it's not just the money. It's like, well, from the very beginning, I remember I asked saying value and never heard you say money. You just never said it. And I, you know, I got programmed on the MLM. You got to look for the money. Always had a heart for people. That's probably why I stuck to MLM. But the, the, the value and give people what they want and look at things different. And once you do that, you realize all that other stuff is already there if you focus on the other, focus on the people, focus on the value, focus on what can you give people. You know, I saw a thing the other day, guy made a sculpture of a bunch of ice people sitting next to each other. And then as time goes on, it, they're, they're slowly disappearing. And he said, that's life. You show up as a nice big hunk of ice and, and it showed them all sitting and all of a sudden you could just see them slowly evaporating or melting away. And I was talking to somebody one time and he said, most people live in a 20 mile radius and they never ever live. And one of the great motivator people said, you know where most treasures are, they're in a graveyard because people never live to their potential. I'm passive is that potential. It, I'm glad potential. you said to their limit within like, you know, their area within the 20 miles. And let's take a like, look how uh, great minds think alike. I was just, uh, I, I hope you see, see this on the screen, right? And you see it? it it's Bl a, blank yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, yeah, yeah. Can, we can see it's blank right now. Yeah, black. Okay, black. Right, you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those sound too. You hear the sound? I can, I can hear the sound. I'm going to speed it up. Just don't worry. So this is the little moon. All right. It's...
at this point, do you see how Earth became invisible? We still have way to go. And I'm making a big point, okay? Don't judge. Let's speed it up. My point is, we're so limited and invisible, but in a massive planet, but overall, there's so much room for growth, no matter what you could do. In other words, you could win, I can win, she can win, they can win, all of us can win, and we still have room for another planet and another universe and global population to win. Nobody's going to take food or, or potential from anyone else. And and I, I do believe everybody can invent something or add value uniquely from the next citizen. And we still have room for growth. But is it realistic? Not everybody's positive. A lot of people are just dragging, you know, backward. Make no mistake, you can win. And you have so much room for growth, even if you have five days on Earth. And I'm going to add, since you know we're in a good occasion, my belief this didn't happen accidentally. These planets didn't just walk, <laughs> or this universe formed by itself. That's come on. Have to have a, a force that is far bigger than the creation. What's creator? The create uh, bigger, the creator or the creation? Yeah, we did not look at the. We did not just look at an accident. Okay, <laughs> to zoom out and see how big it is. And this was created in six days by design from our creator. Six days. So do you think your food or your balance in, in your bank account is a miracle that God cannot provide to it? Relax. You saw the universe. You're nothing. Our earth is nothing, invisible. If he did what he did. All that we just saw is in the... Your food is not the, a miracle. All right, or is, your bank is account in the, is in the spoon of God. <laughs> Nothing. See how we're invisible. So make the best out of it. Make it count. Make it realistic. I mean, if you doubt, like, oh, okay, it's a fight. How much can uh, can I get? She can get all of that. No, we can all win. We can all win. There's more room. That's even There's more plenty room. of land. There's plenty of resources. We can. It's it just unbelievable. So always I want you to see the big picture. Please don't be limited to what you're told or open a TV channel. Somebody's yelling or barking and scaring you and all that. Everything is going to be okay. There's always two ways like that. That C in between D and 
and and uh, uh, you know uh, B and 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 D, that choice always you have a choice, not just what uh, thrown at you. Yeah, it's a bad time. We're having a storm. All that you know, 10, 11 people died. Yeah, but eight billion people didn't die. So you, which way you want to see it? Boom, baby. Speaking of food, <laughs> what is I just the, got uh, my food. Yeah. Yeah. What is Ash Bafar and his wonderful family eating for the holidays? Let me I don't see. know, but he's, he's got he's got a lot of nerve eat, drinking that with a white T-shirt. Yeah. On. <laughs> what is yeah, that? Yeah, that's beads. Beads. What's in it, babe? What's in it? Beads. I feel lemon, ginger. What else? Ooh. Celery. Pineapple? No pineapple. Yeah, I said the lemon. Brain food. I think I said everything. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Brain it's, food. It's delicious. It's brain. It's blood. The energy. Whatever you want. Cleansing. And he's got yep. a white shirt on. And that white shirt. I've never seen he's him. Got a white I, shirt. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know why, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm get closer to me. He's got <laughs> a sissy thick. Yeah. That's I don't know why. The, <laughs> I'm scared hope because I'm, of the white shirt. I'm he's hoping a, he sneezes, Chris. <laughs> Marty, he's got a sissy stick too. Very well protected with the sissy stick, the, the straw. A sissy stick. Hey, don't uh, do you're, it. You're, I'm feeling it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All it takes is one little, little, hey, choo, and it's all over with. It's, Beet juice thing <laughs> coming out of that shirt. You can shout <laughs> it out, you can scream it out. Well, you look very handsome and white there, Ash. You do. Trying to catch up with you. Yeah, that's you're getting you caught up past me. Notice yeah, I have the specs on today. <laughs> yeah, where are my glasses? Sunglasses. I've been, I've been looking at Marty so long, I had to put glasses on. <laughs> and there's so no bright. <laughs> you don't like my new glasses, Chris? I love you. I listen, I saw you without glasses. You are very sexy without glasses, and I'm straight up guy, but I'm telling you, you look good without glasses, Marty. But those look nice on you. Look Anything at else you've seen him without? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't talk about that. After way after things happen. But Marty, take off your glasses, please. Do the Marty Zoom and show us what you really look like. Do the Zoom. Look at that. He's as innocent as a a, a baby. Baby's yeah. butt right there. Kiss it. Baby's Marty. butt. Yeah. I just didn't want to say that, but yeah. <laughs> so, but no. What do you eat? Let me guess. You're having lamb. What are you eating, Ash, for this holiday? I think yesterday we've had enough food. Um, <laughs> let me go check. <laughs> you <gonna> check. <laughs> oh, anyway, thank you for being on here, Ash. And yeah. Merry Christmas to the family and happy holidays and everything to everybody. Yeah. As you can hear in the background, my family's been celebrating for two days. And that's, that's oh. two times. Actually, two times this week that Ash Mafara showed his face. So anyone that's got that mophobic thing I was talking about, haven't seen Ash in a day. It's it's there's a and I'm I'm not allowed to come. My uh, my team is gonna yell at me. Yeah. Tell everyone and hide your bed. Tell you, Dr. You know, they're my bosses. Yeah, tell Dr. Super that. hope she had a good birthday. Uh Obi she said thank you. Yes, absolutely. Hide your bed. And to Bill. Merry Christmas to all of you, uh, praying for you. And when this is all done, you're going to have all the time you want with your family. That's what I can say. Sacrifice. Listen, when you make sacrifices, there's a reason we all make sacrifices. And let me tell you, the sacrifices you all are making are benefiting not one person, but benefiting millions of people, just to let you know that, to give you that extra ounce of why you're doing it, even though I know it. Watch and, that and the, video, please. How big is the universe? And please see the big picture. Don't be limited to uh, a channel or somebody's, uh, you know, <laughs> rhetoric or whatever it is. Just, just see the big picture. Make your own judgment. Be independent. Question things. Make a choice, and see the the positivity and the. Don't focus on what's not possible. What you don't have. Focus on what you have. Be grateful for it. And believe me, you can win. And, and not affect, you don't have to take from somebody. There's room for all of us. I, I wish I could deliver it like in a, a simpler way, S as simple as that. We can all succeed, win in our different ways, 
my success is different than yours or her or uh, there. Okay, so whatever your goal is, uh, of course, I'm talking about hopefully it's a clean, positive ambition. No matter what it is, you can still achieve it without taking away from anyone. And same thing, nobody can take away. Like you, we could always have prosperity. I know it sounds like Jehovah Witness, but uh, <laughs> but but the truth is, the, based on the facts, you can you can succeed without diminishing anyone's potential or taking away. It is there is enough. And your and food, and with on path of you, your you survival succeed. and 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 whatever existence is not difficult. You saw what's possible. We can see it now. Our brain is is not, you know, limited. Yeah. By and the, beauty, the beauty of on passive, you can succeed, get, go anywhere you want to go, even helping others get what they want. It's beautiful. It's a win-win-win all the way around. You can share, you can help, and still go where you want to go. I mean, I, there's nothing better. Nothing. You don't take advantage of it. It's, it's a waste. Absolutely. So if we are on this uh, dimension, we've been from the start, small, bigger, 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 bigger. I think we're going very high and uh, we can expect many new tops in the coming days and months. Uh, regardless of what happened, I mean, we sustained the uh, pandemic. Most companies were uh, having people, you know, cut their salaries or you know, laying them off or whatever. Close some business. How many business do you know closed in your neighborhood? I toured two dozens of states at least, and you can imagine how many towns within the pandemic. And I've seen how many businesses closed. They went out of business because of the pandemic, while we were staffing building, buying new offices, growing, building products, building technology, attracting more talents. So if we could do that in the tough times and in the beginning, I mean, expect nothing but greater in the coming months. I think uh, we're in good shape. Uh, we are pretty confident about uh, what's happening and what yet to come? Uh, what do you What do you believe is fair to tell everybody uh, at this point that we are potentially coming uh, live in a corporate webinar at least once before the end of the year? All right, which I'm talking about in the next four or five days. So that's one thing. That event is going to be super important the reason is we're going to set a few specific uh updates one of them is about the starting day for the founder package the starting day for 365 days that will be a year when your 97 dollars start ticking so everything so far on the house. So you still have a, a whole year ahead of us once we announce that date. Moving forward, we will let you know about the criteria for you to qualify to continue. We will talk about that on the event, but just, just to keep it you know, brief, it will not be as easy. We're talking about selected people we have to have a voice most of the people came were not our choice somebody invited them somebody enticed them somehow we believe that we have a room to correct this in the coming days so that only qualified deserving founding members will become even if we change the name all right and don't think like, oh, it's going to be twenty hundred thousand, whatever, twenty hundred dollars, like two thousand dollars, 
or a thousand dollars. That's not it. Twenty thousand dollars. That's not what I'm talking about. We could even make it free. Grandfather some of the leaders. That's not the objective. OK. But it will be for those who earn it, move it. Move. I mean, the whole objective is to be in pre launch. And just the fact that you already will have your link. Before the masses. That's already worth the ninety seven dollars. Right there. And needless to say, the over delivery aspect, but. Moving forward, obviously. Uh, we're going to make sure that either it's going to be a different name. It could be more exclusive, more prestigious. And uh, we're just not going to make it for random. Individuals that we don't know, we're going to make sure that they really believe they're qualified, they're, the, the material, they're, they're not self-serving, they're not just money driven. All those aspects will explain that to you uh, throughout the, the 365 days and we'll give you some uh, uh, kind of description in the beginning. So you will be well aware. Uh, also, we're going to define the uh, refund policy. All right. Uh, we're expecting also to announce the. Uh, uh, referral links or the reseller links. OK, we're expecting to have my contacts, my links. And I'm not sure if we will be able to give you dates, but at least maybe a time range or frame for the. Uh, mobile apps for all of the uh, applications or the softwares that we already have and the ones that are coming, but everything from now on, on that will come will be mobile app, desktop, uh, mo uh, web app, and uh, mobile responsive, all different formats. OK, and you can switch devices without affecting the uh, session, whatever you have. And obviously, uh, you know, they're working today, Christmas, tomorrow. It's already past midnight there. Uh, and uh, we will not stop until it's done. So it's critical. We already talked earlier today that we potentially finalizing three different copies of three different complete applications of O Connect. One of them just about to go live anytime, any day. Uh, it might be perfect, okay? But we still want to try another two copies, one coming mid January, one in a month or so after that. And eventually we are testing three different uh, scenarios. Uh, I'm sure they will be of a good use, maybe for different purposes, some for businesses, some for governments, or you know, just depending on, on essentially you're not gonna feel that the, the, the same, uh, I would say uh, the, the design and the, uh, user interface, it will look almost identical, if not. And we will try to make it seamless. But we might see a difference in the performance. And of course, for us, the security, the, uh, you know, uh, the fluid aspect and the fluctuation. There's so many technical terms. I don't want to get into that. We will test the bandwidth, the cost of each scenario, and then whichever we believe is the most meaningful way we will do it. But it doesn't mean two months or three months until you see or connect. The, there's a good one that is coming and you might love it and you, you don't wish to change it or OK, but we still want to do that because it's on the clock. The three or the it's billable if you wish. OK, it's a paid product or pla uh, solution. We want to make sure. That the three different scenarios. Are valuable, so whichever one you're not going to see the difference, you're going to receive an application where you can do much more than the current options that we have or use. Lower cost and much more uh, ability, if you wish, more uh, features. OK.
So you cannot compare that. And I didn't, uh, you know, want to uh, undermine the fact that you could also share uh, the revenue with us. Uh, it's just crazy. So what else did I want to say? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. <laughs> I know what you wanted to say. I'm going to repeat it. Failure is not an option, folks. Never. We're just about to explode and go viral. Sit back, relax. Watch this man and his team work like crazy for you and me and have a blessed upcoming year. Merry Christmas to everybody from the Johnsons. Oh, Thank you, Johnsons. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Oh, thank you. God bless you all. Um, all right. See the big picture, guys. Yeah, all right. See the works. size of the universe. We're nothing. And we can always win. All We've together. Room to win. Room to win. Room for everyone. Yeah. Plenty. Plenty. All right, have fun. All right. Thank you, Ash. Share the love. Woo!